Toyota jumps on the Tesla bandwagon, BP sticks with toxic dispersants, and Hawaii sets a record for the longest erupting volcano. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, May 25th. It's been a rough year for Toyota with millions of vehicles recalled and a double-digit sales drop. But the auto giant sees a bright future with electric startup Tesla Motors. On Friday, Toyota announced it would partner with Tesla by investing $50 million to bring the long-anticipated Tesla S sedan to market by 2012. The venture would reopen the closed Yumi plant in Northern California, creating 1,000 new jobs. The all-electric sedan would compete directly with the BMW 5 and may be a sign of things to come. As big automakers anticipate consumer demand for high-performance vehicles free from polluting fossil fuels. Last week, the EPA ordered BP to use a different chemical dispersant to break up oil gushing from an underground pipe in the Gulf of Mexico. To date, BP has unleashed 715 gallons of a highly toxic dispersant banned in Europe called Corexit 9500, claiming it to be the best option for subsea application. The company was given 72 hours from last Thursday to identify and start using a less toxic alternative. But BP officials have stated they will not stop using the compound. Some experts say Corexit is ineffective against Louisiana crude and poses serious environmental and health risks. And finally, Hawaii's Big Island can add to its list of attractions with the world's longest continuously erupting volcano. It was 10,000 days ago Friday that the Kilauea volcano began erupting on Hawaii's Big Island. It's been a popular destination for scientists and tourists since it began erupting in 1983. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.